Swamp milkweed is a tall plant with narrow leaves topped by clusters of burgundy pink flowers. Its sweet nectar attracts all manner of insects. Wasps. Moths. This hummingbird moth. Swallowtails and monarchs. Even flies get into the act. The milkweed beetle lives off the plant as well. It eats the leaves and absorbs toxic alkaloids that deter predatory birds. But by far the most frequent visitors to the swamp milkweed are the bees. They seem to find the flowers of swamp milkweed irresistible. But there's a catch, literally. The flowers are a trap for long-legged insects. Here is a single flower. Note the hood with its horn. It contains the nectar the insects are after. But strategically nearby is the pollinium, which contains masses of pollen in two sacs. Initially, only its black head, the corpusculum, is visible. The two bags of pollen are hidden. However, when an insect lands on a flower and starts to crawl about, it will snag the pollinium with its leg. As it tries to leave, it must pull hard to free itself. As it does, it carries the sacks of pollen with it. The pollen sacks soon dry and rotate 90 degrees. They are now able to be inserted into the slit on the stigmatic column. This may be a flower of the same plant, but often enough it's a flower of a separate plant. A properly inserted pollen sac will fertilize the flower. Getting a foot caught and having to struggle free, and some insects fail to do so and perish on the flower, is the price insects must pay to obtain nectar from the milkweed. Most eventually break free. But are festooned with pollinia. Hovering insects like this hummingbird moth avoid the trap and sip nectar freely. But for the bee, hours of such work in the summer's heat can be taxing. And it's understandable that at the end of the day, it might opt for a short nap. <laughs>